Most small towns have front porches, places to sit and spend time with friends and family. They are where Steve Schill sits down with the people at the heart of Vardaman's front porch in tonight's Tuesday Town. Well, you'd never think to look at it that this beautiful building was once filled with debris. Rumor has it that a fire truck was parked here. It was, according to those who know, a mess. We just needed a place for the people of Artiman to be able to meet, have meetings, um, family reunions, class reunions, receptions, that type of thing. Vardaman City Clerk Barbara Tedder and City Alderwoman Peggy Skinner could just see it. Well, I've lived here all my life. I worked in the bank almost 50 years. And having been in the community as long as I have, I've seen this building be used for many different things. But I grew up when it was a mercantile store. Built in the early 1900s, Peggy and Barbara wanted to turn this space into prime real estate again. And like Mr. Casey said, he was totally against it. He hated it. I didn't it. think they could do it. I didn't think they could do it. But like a fairy tale, along came a bride who wanted a happy beginning right here. And she said, this is it. This is where I want to get married. Barbara and Peggy say that most people who live in Vardaman have had a hand in this transformation. From the kitchen cabinets to the tables, the town came through. Ideas, donations, elbow grease. The city replaced the roof. Workers refurbished the original ceiling tiles. And if these light fixtures look familiar, Barbara and Peggy say they picked them up at yard sales. They call it the front porch because, well, family and friends are the ones who made all this possible. From Vardaman, this is Steve Schill on the road with Tuesday's Town. Vardaman's famous Sweet Potato Festival is just around the corner. It all kicks off Saturday, November 5th with a 5K arts and crafts, tons of sweet potato treats, of course, and the crowning of the Sweet Potato Queen also during the festival.